Hello guys, LazyBeast there, how's it going? And the Shadowlands pre-patch is upon us, so you may be wondering, what the heck should I be doing in the pre-patch? So this video is going to tell you four or five things you absolutely must do in the pre-patch and get you set up and ready to go. So let's dive into it. So the first thing and the biggest thing that affects absolutely everybody is the class changes. So what you should do is jump into your characters on any ults or anything that you're going to play in Shadowlands, test out the class changes, see what's going on, get a feel for any abilities that you might have got back. Because remember, we've had the nice unpruning, which means that you have got some spells back, probably, that you lost in the, in the past. Things like Eyes of the Beast for Hunters and stuff like that. So test those out. Maybe find a little bit of room in your action bars if that even exists. Jiggle some things around and get yourself set up so you're ready to jump straight into Shadowlands leveling when it comes around. Remember that we've also lost corruption. Some people cheer, some people cry. Probably everyone's cheering to be fair. So depending on what corruptions you were running, that could have quite a big impact on how the class feels. Obviously you'll lose things like gushing wounds if you were stacking that for PvP and all that kind of thing. So that's something to consider as well. The next thing as well that affects absolutely everybody is you need to do the pre-patch questline. I say need to, you don't need to, but you should. It's part of the whole story thing, and that's going to get you going and ready for Shadowlands when it launches. So anybody that was level 120 will get scaled down to level 50, and you'll obviously max level uh, for the pre-patch, and then you'll be able to get this quest um, when you log in, pretty much, if you're in a main city. And these are two quests that you've got to go through for Horde and Alliance, respectively. And it's nice and easy to follow, it's pretty self-explanatory, it'll just guide you through like a normal quest line and tell you where to go. And obviously you've got the nice little new objective arrow there, which is lovely and smooth, that'll guide you around the world. One thing you absolutely must do is go and kick Nathanos' ass. Now, you can do this as Horde, I didn't test this as Alliance on the PTR, but you can definitely do this as Horde. You get a quest from Orgrimmar, you basically just go and find Nathanos hiding at his house, and then you just kill him. Bam. He's a bit of a pain in the bum. You'll need a big group to do this. He's got like a raid boss pretty much because obviously he's quite powerful. And once he's dead, do a little cheer, do a little dance and then move on. So once he's dead, we'll pretty much just send him to the Shadowlands where we'll probably have to deal with him once again anyway in a bit. But never mind. Oops. So as you work your way through the pre-patch quest line, new stuff gets released each week as far as I'm aware. So just keep doing that whenever it becomes available. Pretty early on you'll unlock dailies in Ice Crown, so you can do those. They're pretty fun, and sometimes bosses from Ice Crown Citadel actually spawn in the zone. Slightly empowered sometimes, so you'll need a bit of a you know group to get these down. Uh, they do actually drop the loot that they did from the red, so, but scaled up, so you can use it right now. So that's pretty fun. Might help some alts gear up if you level up a new character in the pre-patch, so that's quite nice. Don't forget to get your lingering warmth buff before you head out to smash things in the face. All you've got to do for this is sit near a bonfire, which are marked on the map, and it stacks up, so sit there for about 30 seconds to get max stacked, which is 5, and you get a nice 25% damage buff. So everyone needs this, unless of course you're a cat that's literally made of fire and you might not need it. But anyway, there it is. Next on the list, it's time to get sexy. You are definitely going to want to take your rugged, adventuring ass straight to the barber shop to get fresh and dope. There's a plenty of new fancy looks, strange eyeballs, new tattoos, fresh trims available at the barbershop. You've got to get straight down there. You can even change genders at the barbershop now. Just make sure that you trust your barber, otherwise you may end up looking like this. And nobody wants that. For any Tauren players out there, you need to get your hands on your little sexy flower because you've been a really good Tauren, so well done. Enjoy the flower. So now that everybody's feeling pretty fresh and sexy, it's time to get back to the serious stuff. So the leveling revamp is here. The experience of leveling from 1 to 50, which is max in the pre-patch and, and it'll be 60 when Shadowlands launches, is now much more streamlined and Exiles reaches here for anybody playing from level 1 to 10, you get the option. So as well as this, Allied Races now no longer require you to have Exalted Reputation with that faction tied to them. So you can go and unlock any that you haven't already got. So with these two things, it's a perfect time to maybe go and get a new allied race, level up a new character, if you've been thinking of leveling an alt, go and test out the leveling changes. It's meant to be much quicker. We don't have heirlooms anymore, but that doesn't really matter because the experience has been scaled down a lot. And Exile's Reach is really, really good, so I recommend that you go and try that at least once and just enjoy yourself. And with all that said and done, there's literally only one more thing that you have to do. If you've got yourself a horse, mount up and fly. All right, well, not just any horse. Um, if your horse is particularly horny, as in, it's got a horn, like a unica horn or a unicorn, it can now fly. So jump up on that sweet steed and take to the skies. And there we go, guys. 
that's everything for this video so thanks so much for watching guys if you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and leave a like thank you very much i've been laser beast and i'll catch you next time take care